quite scary at first. Uh, finding out that this could pretty much affect the rest of my life. Uh, not knowing at first if I would ever get better. If anything that I would take any medicines or if there was anything out there that would end up helping me. I believe I went through a about six medicines, uh, finding out that I wasn't responsive to all of them. And that's when we asked about surgery. After going through several tests, we found out that surgery wasn't going to be one of my options. My seizures were coming from both sides of my brain, and we wouldn't be able to take both sides out. So that wasn't going to be one of my options. This new technology is, is part of this whole field of neurostimulation and, and uh, there are many different forms of neurostimulation that are being used for patients right now. But what's unique about this particular therapy that's just been FDA approved is this is responsive neurostimulation, which is a little different. The stimulation techniques that we've been using in uh, neuroscience up to this point are mostly um, a one-directional thing. It stimulates, on, they stimulate on and off throughout the day, uh, either to prevent a symptom or improve a symptom. Uh, but they're not actually responding to neurological activity. This responsive neurostimulator uh, is uh, a very clever device that's it's essentially a small microprocessor that's placed in the patient's skull. And then uh, a couple of small leads or electrodes are placed at the source of the patient's seizures. And for different patients, the, the seizures may be coming from different areas of the brain. So we place these little electrodes that are about the size of a piece of spaghetti um, at the source of the seizures. And the device will continuously record that electrical activity from the brain, what we call electrocorticography or EEG activity straight from the brain itself rather than just being recorded from the scalp. Well, that activity is recorded in the little computer that's been implanted. Then uh, the patient is provided with a laptop computer and a little wand, which is just a wireless telecommunication device that's held over it, and it wirelessly loads the information into the laptop. Then uh, the patient can send the information from that laptop through the internet to a secure website. And then we can go in to that secure, secure website and look at the electrocorticography and we can then teach the device to detect the patient's seizures. So it doesn't just load and just record, but the device can be programmed. There's a lot of different methods uh, for detection and we can uh, uh, adjust over time to find what methods and what settings detect that patient's seizures the most accurately and most reliably and the quickest. Once we have done that, then we take it a step further and we can actually program the device that when a seizure occurs, as soon as that seizure is detected, um, and this is often even before the patient ever feels anything, as that electrical signal of a seizure starts, the device will give a little electrical stimulus and that basically interferes with the progress of the seizure and disrupts the seizure and can uh, often prevent that seizure from becoming a seizure that the patient ever knows they've had. So it sort of hits it on the way out the gate and neutralizes it before it can actually uh, become a seizure. And, uh, and the device works. Um, so the, the pivotal clinical trials were completed and uh, the device has just been approved by the FDA. This is just the first generation of this device, and if you think about what's moving forward quickly, it's, it's microprocessors, it's small, I mean think about what your phone can do now, compared to what it could do 10 years ago. Our processors get smaller and smaller, our batteries get smaller and smaller with better and better life, and we can have rechargeable batteries, and soon we'll have the ability to record from multiple different spots, or over a large area of brain in the future as the device becomes more advanced. Now this current device can only record and work in two very, very focal areas. But it's just a very, very small step from there uh, in terms of computer technology and mathematics and batteries to be able to treat a much broader area. Now I'm having maybe, maybe 10 to 15 seizures a month and they're more of the complex partials that I'm uh, uh, 
a lot of the mediocre, the smaller ones, uh, where my hand will go numb, my ear will ring. Uh, they'll maybe last 10 to 15 seconds at most. My doctor and my mom and several friends, even my girlfriend now, believe that uh, my personality uh, is coming back. My sense of humor and a lot of things have started to come back since the neuropace has started helping and several of the medicines have started to help.